Hey guys, it's Kevin, uh, working from the warehouse again. Uh, today we're going to refill the HP 67 cartridges. So uh, let me just put some th something in the front so you don't ask me the same question again and again. Okay, first thing is, uh, uh, how about this printer? Okay, if your printer uses 67 cartridge, a cartridge is a cartridge, same way, okay, refill the same way. HP never put a block on their uh, integrated cartridge. So your cartridge look like this. Okay, this is a candy cartridge. Okay, anyway. So if your cartridge look like this, has ink in it, has a, has a, a print head, uh, you don't need to reset the chip. Okay? Uh, there's no block. Just as, as soon as you finish the, 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 the ink, HP is going to ask you, do you want to continue to use this, this, this cartridge? And they just say yes, and uh, HP will let you print the fiber. Okay, uh, the same thing, how do I reset the chip? You don't need to reset the chip, I, I just answer you. Okay, and uh, how about the, I refill it, but I still show, show low ink level, okay? Your printer will not show the actual ink level. Your printer will, uh, the ink level will come from full to empty. And then they're going to ask a question, do you want to still keep using this, this cartridge? Say yes, and boom, and that's it. The printer will not track the ink level anymore. And you keep, you, you keep the track of the ink level yourself. Uh, why HP is so nice to let you refill your uh, cartridge? Uh, go Google consumers' rights to repair. HP wasn't so nice earlier. And uh, about 10, 12 years ago, uh, HP lost a lawsuit and uh, was ordered to pay, I think it's $10 million to consumers. And uh, HP has been really nice since then, <laughs> okay. And uh, FTC said uh, it's going to tighten up the regulation for the rights to repair. That means if you buy, if you bought some electronics, you have the right to repair it, you have the right to modify it, you have the right to refill it, and you, you have the right to sell it. Okay, so you own it. and. Uh, Check out that uh, Steve Leto. Just go go Google Steve Leto consumer rights to repair. And uh, FTC said it's going to tighten the regulation and uh, more rigorously to persecute the company that use uh, firmware to discourage uh, consumers to uh, repair repair their uh, products. Wink wink. And uh, also discur and uh, also prosecute those companies that discourage consumers to use uh, third-party non-OEM parts. Okay, so you got the idea. So uh, that will answer your question uh, whether the 67 cartridge is refillable or not. However, there is something special about the 67 cartridge that's different from all other cartridges. I'm going to cover it later. Let me sh uh, just draw you a plan that we're going to do. So inside the cartridge, there's a sponge, and uh, underneath the sponge, there's a little box. The box normally is filled with ink and uh, supplied the nozzle with ink. So this box should always have ink, and uh, the box suck, suck ink from the sponge. So we're going to add the ink to the sponge, and uh, then hopefully the ink will come down to the box. Uh, sorry about the sink. If I clean it up, it's going to look like this five minutes later. Uh, anyway, we're going to use a EZ30T from a BCH. I'll put a link above if you need it. For the cartridge, we're going to use the startup cartridge uh, come, come with the printer. The kit includes a drill, and uh, for HP, you don't you don't need to drill it. And uh, you don't if you don't want to drill it, you can just use the toothpick that's included in the kit. And the kit also has a, a black bracket and uh, two silicon pads. The longer one is for the black, and uh, the shorter slit is for the color. Uh, it also has uh, three bottles of ink, or four bottles of ink. Uh, so if you want to drill it, drill it. And uh, if you want to use the toothpick, you can use the toothpick. Uh, I like your toothpick. So with a black, I'm just like a slowly poke it and find where the hole is. And uh, try it a couple times, you're going to find uh, where the hole is. Okay, see? So uh, here's the black. That tell you where you're gonna put your needles in. 
work gloves, when you take the cap off some ink like this, some, some ink might come out, okay? <laughs> the needles are blunt needles, so it's pretty hard to penetrate the, the sponge. So what you do is not uh, go straight down and uh, release the ink. You can see the ink is regurgitated back to you. What you do is put in at an angle, uh, push it uh, all the way then until you hit a wall. Uh, you're going to find a wall. And then when you find the wall, and, and, uh, and uh, press it down from the wall. So what you do, uh, what you do is you press down the sponge and uh, create a gap between the needle and the wall. So now you can squeeze ink into that empty space. And uh, squeeze about uh, five to seven times. And uh, you're going to see the ink come up. Now clean it. And now put the pad with a longer slit on it. That's for the black. Remember, we talked about the ink box. So now we need to suck from underneath a little bit so the ink will come down into the ink box. Uh, to put the cartridge on it, just uh, align the cartridge in the middle and then press down and press forward. Yes, it is going to be uh, pretty tight and you do need a little bit of strength to push it down and push it forward. Uh, I don't know why some people have problem doing this and uh, sometimes they ask me to call them and give them tips. Uh, I don't really have tips, so you just need to press a little bit harder. Uh, you might need to line the cartridge a couple times until uh, you see uh, some ink come out. It's better if you see the ink come into the syringe. To test it, get a white paper towel and uh, now press your cartridge on it. And that looks good. We're going to do the same thing for the color, uh, except it has the three holes rather than the one hole. and. Uh, and also remember the color sequence. Uh, when you press down, and uh, the ink will guide down the tooth toothpick, so it will show you which color it, it is. So, uh, for example, this one I found the hole and I press it down. And this one is cyan. And uh, same thing here. Uh, find the wall. Go with the angle. Find the wall and uh, press the sponge down, uh, create a little bit of space, and then this time uh, three squeezes. Uh, HP made some trick cartridge, cartridges at uh, HP 65. Uh, sometimes they swap the color sequence. And uh, first of all, this one, the top one is magenta, the, the left one is yellow, and the right one is blue. Uh, or say, or say, should cut through this. Uh, anyway, it could be different. Okay, I'm just uh, be cautious. So that's why I said uh, try with a toothpick. And this one, I intentionally uh, overfilled some colors, so you can see, uh, I can hardly see. Uh, I can hardly see magenta. So when we print, we'll have a problem with uh, one of the ink pressure is higher than the others. We'll see. Uh, fortunately, this priming kit can also adjust the uh, pressure imbalance. Now we swap the uh, pad, we switch it to the to the shorter slit. The same thing, push down and push forward. I put a word to check uh, the HP's uh, error code here. Today we're going to cover E0, E1, and E3. So it's so E3. Uh, scroll down, and here's the error code. On the control panel, and the E three is uh, has a jammed paper, and uh, it prints absolutely blank paper. So we need to go back and prime over cartridge one more time. Uh, remember last time we didn't let the ink come into the syringe; we just stop when we see ink come out. And uh, let me show you what I mean: the ink come into the syringe. You see that? You want to see that it can steadily flow into the syringe. And much better. So the black is all good. So now we just need uh, to prime the color again, put, that, put them on the clip. The first few pages may look terrible, and uh, you need to print a couple pages and uh, to see if your review is successful or not. 
Uh, we have all blue, no red at all at the first print. Uh, second page, we start seeing some red. And notice number 72 rose picking duck still have some stripes. And it's printing perfectly after five pages. And we start printing menus for restaurants so we can get free food. The paper is not wasted in this video. Uh, and we're going to give it to the Apple China restaurant. Uh, we're going to have a free beef noodle soup later. If you have the printing, but uh, you one of the colors is overpowering other colors, that means you overfilled it. You can just uh, see the cartridge out like this, bleed it out, or put the uh, cartridge in the printer and wait overnight, and that the ink will balance it out. The printer will not show your real ink level, so you can see the printer think there's almost no ink in the cartridge. It gives you a little pop-up to remind you to buy HP ink. Who cares? Just ignore that. We're going to run the ink all the way to the empty and just using our eyes to see if there are any colors missing. So we print a total of uh, 95 pages. And uh, now the the ink monitor on the HP is not working. It, it never worked before. <laughs> okay, uh, now you now the ink monitor is zero. So you have to figure out how much ink is left in the tank. How much you need to add. One way you can do it is uh, you can have a, a little scale and uh, just weigh the cartridge and keep a diary how much you add, how much left, and uh, after a couple refills, you're gonna figure it out. Okay, it's getting longer, so I'm thinking about uh, cutting it to two parts. So this part one, we covered that uh, first thing is we don't need to reset the chip. Then we sh I show you how to add the ink to sponge, how to prime the cartridge, and then text the priming with a white paper towel. And then I demonstrate if you overfill, you're gonna get uh, weird colors. And uh, so one, th one way you can solve it is you prime it a bit more, or you can just let the cartridge sit in the printer for a couple hours or overnight, or put it on a paper towel to so the excessive ink can and uh, get out of the cartridge, and then you get a nice cartridge. And we talk about uh, ignore the low ink uh, low ink warnings, and we wanted the ink level just keep like this gray, and uh, we just keep printing. And also we covered how to calculate uh, how much ink left in the cartridge. However, I uh, think you're going to encounter this problem, which is uh, E0. So when you just printing and printing, suddenly you get uh, this E0 error, just like this. Normally, it's uh, when you stop the printing for some reason, then you restart, then you get E0. So we can cover this and uh, some other issues with uh, 67 cartridge in the ne next video, the part two. I hope this video is helpful. And uh, please visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers.